Sims Nicole. Welcome, my genies. We're back in the Sims for 100 Baby Challenge with the one and only beautiful... Gorky McBoogerhead, and you're beautiful too, honey. Thank you. You're welcome. How are you today? I'm fine. Picking that poop. Looks like Kima decided to come visit. Oh my, these are rotten. And you made, you just made them. <coughs> oh, your pumpkin's rotten. I guess you're gonna throw that one away. I'll have to. Why is there pizza there? It's lunchtime. Good enough for everybody. <coughs> And there's enough for you four. Oh, everybody else is cool. Oh, yes. Are you excited for Winterfest? I am. I love Christmas. <laughs> I didn't realize your pumpkin was rotten, though. Did you? No, I didn't. Well, you have to throw it away. Let me see what the little one stuff is on. Movement level two, movement level two, movement level two. <clears throat> I don't know when your waffles spoiled. I thought you made them when I got off of here, but unless you made them that last night, I forgot to put them up. Maybe. If that's the case, I'm sorry. That's okay. I love the kook. I know. <clears throat> Has he not got his yet? No, he's got one now. Yeah. <clears throat> how, how do you feel about having two sets of triplets in one house? It's something else, I have to say. We found an innocent love letter from Philip to his teacher in his death. Nothing racy, but we thought you should know. Thanks for letting me know. <clears throat> what would you like to say? Let's see. Keep it inappropriate. I don't know if anyone's going to be an A or not. <sighs> They're getting close. <clears throat> I guess we'll see what happens. <coughs> anyway, what would you like to do today? Would you like to prepare a dinner? Yeah. Let's see what do we have. Oh, we just have the cake. Would you like to do pizza or would you like to cook something over here? Oh yeah, let's make a big <clears throat> dinner. When cook feast or grand pit barbecue feast? Grand pit barbecue. That sounds good. All right, which one? Chicken. Chicken's always good. Barbecue chicken is good. Oh yeah, definitely. Already. Whoa, what are you doing, Melanie? <clears throat> I have no words. Are you gonna go somewhere else just to change your outfit? <clears throat> Oh, 
Upper Duke Darza. Good choice. Rillard, the Burbay's Drogue. All right. Good link. Terrible Crankus. <clears throat> Are you gonna be kind of emotional whenever they move out, Dorky? <clears throat> well, not kind of, but emotional. Yeah. <clears throat> it's always hard. You have seven days until you age up. <clears throat> How do you feel about that? I'm fine. Sabrina, Grump, Tivo, Flemish, yes. Where are you gonna be living when you're an elder? With next door. Oh, next door with, with, with King Bo? Yeah. <clears throat> well, actually, you'll have to stay here until until little Dorky ages up anyway. And he can move in here. That's a good idea. I wish he could already move in here. Why can't he? I'm not having any more kids. Well, your house is full right now. Oh, that's right. <laughs> but once they move out, you probably can. Blown of Pogan. How about a stay over? Oh, you can, yeah, you can do a stay over. For how long? However long you want. Let's do it for a long time then. Six nights. Is that the longest? Yeah. All right then. Well, Philip's grades are up. <clears throat> but theirs are not. They're still B's. One of them has an A? No, none of them have an A. Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't figure they probably would, but it's okay. Maybe next time. They have school projects right now. <clears throat> oh, I think your thing's almost done. 26 minutes. <coughs> But Philip is not a B student. Great job, honey. <clears throat> Maybe they'll age up next episode on Tuesday. <clears throat> they'll have school tomorrow, but not Wednesday, because winter fest. If they don't age up then, then I guess we'll have to wait till Thursday. But it looks, it looks like they're getting pretty close. Oh, Timothy's calling. Oh, you want someone to sleep with you? <clears throat> there. It's done. You want to put it in the fridge for now? Yeah. Alright, who do you think needs help with the project? Any ideas? I think Philip needs it. <clears throat> He can't have a job, but thank you. Let's see how they're doing. Level two thinking. Next thing we need to work on imagination because she's level one.
Here we go. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, he's he's going ahead and eating he eating some hungry. eating some of the chicken. <coughs> he's probably hungry. <coughs> That's fine. She needs to go potty. You look like she can go on her own. Bunch of calls today. I'm telling you, I'm busy, buddy. <clears throat> he needs to go potty, too. I think they all do. Oh, they all potty on their own, which is great. <coughs> Philip's done. Eat some chicken? Uh huh. Well, then. Alright, they're still working on their projects. Oh, she had a potty accident. <laughs> they all pottied. That's great. Good kid. Come on, knee honeys. What'd you say it for? Get a potty accident. Oh, it's all right. Funny, Philip got done before they did. You know, I was gonna say. Yeah, I just. That's because I helped him. Those are delicious. Okay, I, I, I left the tree. Never mind.
Oh, so one, there's still one more dirty potty tear. Go ahead, Nate Phillip, if you're doing your homework. You can do your extra credit after you ate. There you go. Now they're done. There. So they can, they're going to work on their imagination more. Are you going to bed already, Dorky? Not gay yet. They can eat in a little bit. I guess Oscar's gonna finish his home and finish his homework after he eats because I guess he's really hungry. <laughs> I guess so. The babies are tired, too. Yeah, I know. I was hoping they at least get a level, level 2 and everything. Martin is imagination level two. It's gonna take Melanie a little bit to get there. But she will.
Okay, there's only three left. I just toss it. Everybody's eight. That's gonna expire soon anyway. One of the kids is going upstairs, a toddler. Huh. Oh, they're going to bed. He was supposed to be asleep. Oh, yeah, he is wake up time or bad time. That's why he got up. He's going. Alright, Melanie is now level two. <clears throat> Now all the kids have their homework done, now they can head to bed. Well, except Oscar. Okay, Oscar's the only one that doesn't have his home homework done. But he's almost. Is there anything in there for <clears throat> him to eat if he gets hungry? He will cook too. Oh, okay. Oh, he he made waffles. Oh, okay. And he ate some. Yeah, they're gonna wake up quite a bit because they hate bad time. That's very, very, very irritating, isn't it, though? It is, but it's part of a quirk. And I can't do anything about it. But anyway, hopefully in the next episode, Oliver, Oscar, and Olivia will eat up to young adults. And I, I honestly, I don't think Philip's gonna eat up right now. He, I don't think he's going to eat up in the next episode because he just became a B student. <clears throat> but anyway, thank you all so much for watching. And please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and make sure the notification bell get notified when I upload. Aging up. I love you all so much. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. Oh, bye, everybody. Goodbye, everyone. It's Ed and the Ed Lions. Hi, what's on the Wonder Years? It's Kevin Arnold. Thanks for telling me, Fred. You're welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye, it's Edgar.